Hello guys, in this short video you will see an excerpt, a part of a longer video about live wire database notifications from my course on building on Laravel daily on building a typical Laravel SaaS. So I've shot a video about database notifications, about the bell that you can see in the top right corner of typical SaaS. And I thought why not show it on YouTube as example of live wire because I'm using live wire starter kit inside of this course. So in this video, in a few minutes, I will show you the main things that you need to know. If you want the full video, as well as other videos, as well as source code of that repository. The full course is for premium members of Laravel Daily Com, and the link will be in the description below. Now, let's see the database notifications with Livewire. So for that, I added one new field to the tasks model, and when creating a new task, you can assign a user. And then what happens if I, for example, use fake filler Chrome extension, assign myself in this case, create task. And then if I navigate somewhere else in the background, there's a queue job assigning the notification. And I have this here. So in the official docs of Laravel about notifications, there may be email notifications and other types. And one of the types is database notifications. So if you run those, make notifications table and then migrate, this creates exactly this migration with database table. This is the Laravel notification class accepting task as a public property. And then you can define the notification so-called channels to send notifications to you may add one channel or multiple. So in this case, we have database as a channel. And then if that user has enabled notifications, then we add mail to the channel. And then each channel has its own method. So to mail, this is the email message content. And then with the database, we have two array or there could be two database from what I remember. And this is the structure actually assigned to the database record. So in the notifications table, you may find this JSON with data inside. The next part, how to view the notifications. So this bell. And this was pretty tricky because default LiveWire Starter Kit has sidebar navigation on the left and not header. So I'll be honest, since I'm not a front-ender, I asked AI to do that, Claude Opus in this case, and it suggested this solution. In the sidebar blade, at the very bottom, we add another flux header with that live wire component for notification bell. That live wire component has a few properties, notifications themselves, and then unread count for the number behind the bell. Then we have render with typical live wire blade and then function mark all as red. You saw that already in the demo. And then inside of that notification bell, we have wire poll 30 seconds. So each 30 seconds, it will ask the server for new notifications or it would of course appear if someone navigates to another menu item. And then this is how it looks. If we have unread count more than zero, we have mark all as red and then for else or for each show the notification or in case of empty, we show no new notifications. 